Today I'm going to tell you about my method of cleaning quartz crystals. It's a method that I use all the time because it's safe and effective. If you have no access to the ingredients needed for the water solution, which is a well-known method, um, or iron out, which is widely used in the USA, you can use this method because the ingredients needed for this can be easily bought in a shop. For this method you are going to need two ingredients. The first one is a stain remover. I get this one in Germany, but I guess you can get a similar thing um, in your own country. I'm going to tell you in a second what it needs to have in it. And then the second one is citric acid. Of course I'm not going to use a regular lemon, right? I'd rather use powder. You can get it in any shop. My stain remover has two components that I'm looking for. The first one is sodium nitronite and the second is sodium carbonate. You will try to avoid any uh, stain remover for clothes that has anything beginning with oxy or per in it. That is not going to work for you. Forget also about any stain remover that has chloride in it. This method is safe for a number of different minerals, but on the other hand, it's unsafe for others. So which one can you clean with this method? I have a little cheat list, forgive me that, okay? So it's going to be safe for all silicates, like for example quartz, feldspar, garnet, aquamarine or olivine. Also mica if you want. Most sulfites are also going to be okay in the solution. You can use it for marcasite, pyrite or sphalerite. Such minerals as um, hematite, pyromorphite or mimetite will also be okay. Do not use this method for manganese oxides or copper minerals such as malachite. I'm going to demonstrate this method on a number of very dirty stones. Uh, they are quartz crystals that I found just recently on my trip to Dingle in Ireland. You can see they are dirty not only from, uh, from iron staining, but also with, uh, there is lots of clay on them. So let's clean them! I'm using a plastic bowl um, because later on I'm going to put the stones into microwave. Yeah, I know it sounds weird, but you will see the magic happen. So first of all, I'm going to take my uh, stain remover. I'm probably going to use a spoon and a half for this amount of water. Just regular cold tap water. That much. I'm going to stir it carefully. Now I'm going to add some citric acid, just enough to make it fizz. Maybe a little more. Yeah, it's going to be enough. I'm going to put my stones into the solution, maybe this way so I cover the crystals. The solution may have some weird smell, don't worry, it's normal. Now my stones are out from the microwave, you can see my water has turned white, which is not uh, what I wanted, that means that my proportions were not really correct, so I'm going to uh, get rid of uh, this by adding regular baking soda. 
the solution is also a bit stinky now but we can easily fix it with baking soda I also kept my stones in the microwave for two minutes longer so in total four and a half minutes because the water wasn't uh, hot enough I'm going to take out a few stones to show you that they already are starting to clean you see they're already cleaner than before they've been in the solution for only five minutes This stone has already been uh, washed in the solution twice. You can see there is no more iron staining on them, but they are still not very clean. So I'm going to repeat the process one more time. I'll show you that one as well. I've prepared a brand new solution. Um, these stones have received two baths already. I've uh, rinsed them under running water and also I've brushed them gently and gave them a bath in ultrasonic. Uh, if you don't have ultrasonic, you don't have to do it. So I'm going to microwave them one more time and I'll show you the results later. I have bathed the stones in my solution uh, three times. I have kept them in the solution for 24 hours and at the end they received an ultrasonic bath, but it's okay if you don't have it.